Hey YouTube, this is Wyatt at Main Meadow Sanctuary. I'm going to be showing you guys today a little hack I found out. I recently got my car delivered down here from Wisconsin. It's my first car when I turned 16. It's a 1988 Saab 900 Turbo. Uh, got it down here. The clutch kept going flat on me. So I wasn't going to take it in. I don't know any Saab mechanics around here and I didn't want to spend the money. But uh, the clutch is fairly new, so I have no idea why it went flat on me and just wouldn't allow me to engage it in any gear. So I picked up a little track through exper experiment and error. And on the brake fluid reservoir, if you can find something, a similar cap, that'll twist on there and hold the pressure... And then just a standard, let me grab it out of the car, a standard bike pump. You can pump your clutch back up. So here is the standard old bike pump I had laying around. And then I found a gas cap that was to one of my gas cans, plastic. I was able to use the blowtorch, melt it enough push this through here and then it twists onto the brake fluid cap just right like that and then all you got to do is pump it up just one or two pumps and you should notice some pressure built back up I'll take that set that down we'll see how the pressure feels and I I did this a long, long time ago when I was in high school, I made it out of a different pump, but I found it to work, but that was when the clutch was actually completely shot, and I was able to pump it up a few times. This time, I don't know, this car has been sitting for the last five years. I'll hop in here, clutch down there. Yep, you can see that that is completely flat, so... Let's actually do it this time on here. You saw that that was completely flat. I'll take this off here. I am going to grab, sorry for all the, hopefully no one's getting motion sickness. Grab a thing of your brake fluid. I don't have a camera person, so bear with me. We'll put that there. Brake fluid in, so it's got some stuff in there. Now, back in high school when I did this, I had someone in there pumping the pedal as I was pumping the pump, but this time it seems to work with just like that. So now that's on there. That contraption is on there. So really pump it down. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's go see if we got some pressure back to the clutch. Clutch pop back out. Got a little pressure. I think it's going to need to be pumped more. Also pump with your hand a little bit. You can feel it's starting to build up pressure again. I think, now that I've been waiting for it to dry here, I think that it looks like I might have a brake fluid leak from one of the brakes. Okay, let's turn that take this off here. Top it off with some more brake fluid. I did this last week when the car first got here. I pumped it up and it stayed good. I've taken the gas station several times. Which on here it's 10 mile drive. Brakes. Clutch is getting pressure back, so I should be able to shift. 
Yep, just wanted to share that with you guys. It might help someone in a pinch if they carry one of those with them and it goes flat on them, then you can pump it up. Obviously, there's other ways too. <laughs> I'm pretty good for sitting five years. So, again, this is Wyatt at Maine Meadow Sanctuary. Just wanted to share that tip with you guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll get some more videos on here.